Okay guys, we're going to talk about light and color today. Um, light first. So, there's two different types of light. There's natural light and there's artificial light. Natural light is any source of light that comes from naturally found sources. So, the sun, fire, and stars, all of those are natural light sources. Artificial lights are any source of light that comes from non-natural sources. So your light bulbs, your light strips, your phone screen, for example. Um, natural light really depends on a few things. So number one, your window positioning. We are going to talk about this in um, the thought of living in the northern hemisphere because that's where I currently live, that's where you currently live. So if we have our windows positioned in the south side of our homes, this is going to let in a lot of natural light during the day and that's really great because you can save on your electricity bill and natural light just makes people happier um, if your light if your windows are positioned high it will bring light and heat in this is really great for the winter time if you use mirrors in your shadowed areas you're going to welcome light in and bright colors and finishes really brighten up a space Artificial light has five different types. There's ambient, task, accent, informational and guidance, and decorative. I'm not really going to go into all of this in great detail because um, I want you to take my Interior Design 2 class, but ambient lighting is basically your overhead lighting. So that's the light that we as interior designers most of the time are going to be working with. Um, Accent or task lighting, we'll use a bit with lamps, but we're really not going to be moving too much into a different type of light. So just moving on right there, I want you to know that the five types, but I'm not going to go into great detail for you. So your assignment for light is to find one room with both sources of light. Okay, you're going to mount your room and glue it into your notebook, one fourth inch border like always. Write a description that identifies both sources of light and explain how it impacts the design. So um, how is your natural light going to change the texture of your space? How is your, um, your light changing the space itself? Like, is it making the space seem more intimate or um, more more uh, like larger so think about that color we're gonna move right into color so what is color in order to see color you have to have light that's why we're talking about it at the same time so um, when a light shines on an object some of the colors are going to bounce off of the object while others are absorbed by it what we see you what color you see an object has is the color that's reflected by the object so your kitchen table if it's a dark walnutty uh, kind of brown, then you're going to have that color reflected by that object. There is psychology behind color, however, and this is super important as a designer to think about. Color affects the way that we feel. It can influence our mood, and it can even change the psychological temperature of a space by five degrees. Warmer colors bring the heat up, cooler colors bring the heat down. Um, the impact of the color has on our actions and our emotions is known as the psychology of color. We are surrounded by the influence of color all of the time, okay? Literally all the time. Um, so that's really important to note. Um, the imperial color of China is yellow because it has religious significance, okay? Um, in Greece and Rome, red was believed to have protective powers, and purple long ago was res uh, restricted for the use of just nobility. Many restaurants will decorate with red because it has an effect on customers to stimulate their appetite. Um, athletic directors will paint their, their team's dressing rooms bright red and orange and visitors' dressing rooms in pale blues because that red is going to excite their team and that blue is really going to calm that other team down. Um, a meat market in Chicago lost a lot of business when it was painted bright yellow because it gave this meat um, a really purpley look. But when they repainted in a bluish green, the meat started to look more fresh. And so their sales went back up. What I want you to do is make a collage of your favorite color. 
This will serve as our Unit 3 title page, so you want to make sure that you have all of your assignments, including your review, glued into your Unit 2 before you start this. Um, our next unit is all about color, so get ready to have a fun time in Unit 3 with color. I'm excited. It's my favorite unit to teach um, for Interior Design 1.